Hi, lots of people ask me what kind of palettes I use and brushes and paints and um, I tend to go through favourites and then discard them and like someone else's so over the years I've gone through a fair number of palettes I'm down to one that I do like the best I've ever had so I thought I'd just talk you through some of those that I have you know in the last 30 years of painting um, what I started off with and what I use for certain whether I'm out painting whether I'm at the seaside painting or whether I'm in the studio painting um, when I first started off I had um, something like this a little Winsor & Newton paint set, really good paints, artist quality and I just dabbled you know and um, but this still got this, it wasn't this as that one but that's useful for just taking out and about and fits into your pocket and then I've got another Winsor & Newton one that I didn't even know I'd got till I had a good sort out the other day and um, that's a lovely new one so I'm really excited I found that because um, I, sh I should be taking that out and using it because that's even flatter, narrower than um, than that one. I've had these about six months. These are Daniel Smith's palettes and I've got a studio and um, a gallery in St Ives in Cornwall and I teach there and work in it. I also hire it out to anyone else who wants an exhibition. You can hire it if you like by the week. Um, so I do spend an awful lot of time in St Ives, it's a fantastic place, you, when I'm there I just want to paint seascapes, I'm normally known for flowers, contemporary watercolours, but seascapes when I'm there it just takes over the old atmosphere and it, that's how it makes you. So these little Daniel Smith ones which are fantastic paints um, come in very handy when I'm out and about as well, so it's quite good. This one is, I bought it off eBay and it's an antique Reeves palette and I started doing some miniatures at one time about 15 years ago but I don't do them anymore but I used just this palette for some miniature paintings, just some say 3 inches by 3 inches and um, a few flowers, little um, landscapes and I kept that just for, for working in that. You can't get much in there but I just love palettes and I love um, looking at them and collecting them in a way. So then uh, this is one of the first ones I ever had. If I can undo it. I've not been used for a long time. This is another Winsor & Newton one and you can see this bit's missing of it now. They've uh, been well used. I could just top up the paints with some tube colour but I'm getting that um, I'm using more and more colours all the time and I hate to be restricted. I know you can't help it when you're out and you're on location um, which is what happens when I am in St Ives or any, anywhere else I go um, but you can kind of condense the colours to just blues and greys and um, beiges, uh, creams and just the odd bright colour, you know, you can keep it to a minimum when you are doing seascapes and, uh, you know, scenes with the harbours and everything. So that's why I find those Daniel Smith ones handy. But as regarding um, going out on location inland to say a lovely garden or National Trust place, something like that, I'd never seem to have enough colours in just a palette like that. And I always think, Oh, I wish I'd bought such and such colour. So I don't really use them anymore, to be honest. This is quite a nice one. Barry Herneman palette. It's quite expensive for what it is. I think it was about 40 to 50 pounds. And I suppose my favourite colours at the time out in there. And I can mix other colours from those, I know. Uh, I just had a phase of using this at one time. Plenty of mixing spaces. It is quite nice. But I, I must admit I don't use that very often anymore. So then what I did then, I started um, buying these palettes with the um, wells that you fill in yourself. And I, re I used this for years and years. And I liked it that much that I had two. 
This one held blue, greens and browns. And then this one held like yellows, ochres, um, pinks, reds and purples. And then I've got little sections there that I just, you know, if I've got a favourite colour at the time, or I might put a bit of ink in there when I'm out. Not before I go, obviously, I'll still run out. But when I'm out there, rather than, you know, mess about with a bottle of ink, I might just pop some in there. And so I've used these. these in fact, these are the second lot I've had. I must have used them for about 10 years. And they're really, really good. These, you can buy these um, from the SAA or Amazon or any other major art supplies. And I think they're about... £16 so that's not too bad because it will last forever more or less and then um, I've just had this one uh, I can't resist buying palettes this is off Amazon it's a nice little one and I thought um, it could just give me a few more colours when I am out and about and I like the setup I like the hole you know the thumb hole or you can use it like that so that's another one I've yet to use yet when the weather gets a bit better but um, when I first started off, I had plastic palettes and I'd squeeze some um, paint into them. And I moved on to that type of palette, which is a different thing because, you know, you've either got to take this out with you and your tubes or take all your colours with you in, that, in the other type of palettes. But this is brilliant when I'm doing big washes. Um, I've got a picture behind that's got loads of big washes on and it keeps things really separate. And so are they. They are so cheap. That's only about £1.50, if that. And I've got about 20 of those, or 30 probably. And I use them nearly every day. And um, I don't wash them straight away. I hate washing palettes. So they build up and then have a really good washing day one day. I'll get my husband to do it for me. But my favourite palettes of all, and have been for about the last four years, are these. It's a Shin Han palette. I love Shin Han. I love Shin Han paints. And I love this palette. And same again, I use one for reds and browns. And one for blues and greens and yellows. So I do have to have two out when I'm painting. And that can be quite... Um, cumbersome and in the way you know to, to it's not easy to get to so but I have used these for oh, at least five years and they're the best palettes I've ever had and they've got lovely wide mixing spaces so then um, with more or less living in Cornwell half the year I have to take a lot of stuff down there I do leave some stuff down there but I can never remember what I've got so I thought I could do with one of these that held more paint. So I searched on the internet and I found this one and I, I've only just had it. So I'm really excited because this holds 64 pans of paint. They're on Amazon. It was about £28, I think. It's very similar to the Shin Han one. You know, the nice metal one enamelled inside the thumb hole. But it holds 64. So... When I've got time, I will work out where I'll put my colours. I usually tend to start with the yellows, palest, get a bit darker. They move on to oranges and reds, get darker. Then they move on to purples. They move on to mauves, greys, blues, greens, browns. So I should have enough there, I should think, with that. And the thing is, it's quite they do take quite a bit of paint so you've got to make sure you've got plenty of painting um i must have 200 tubes of paint i must have every color more or less that you can have but my favorite ones sometimes run down a bit low so if i start filling every palette up i'm going to run out of paint and i hate running that going to my case and not finding it there so i will have to order some more of my favorites and then I'm looking forward to filling that up and using it and if I get on well with it I shall change to using this all the time when I'm at home in the Midlands or and this all the time when I'm in my home in Cornwall. So 
I hope that's helped some of you. Um, I will do another film about paints uh, and then another one about brushes. I thought this might be quite handy for people. So uh, keep your eyes open, no doubt you'll get a notification when I do another one. But I hope you found that's helped you, you know, decide on what palettes might be suitable for you.